Hey, what's up, guys? Just so you know, respect trans kids, affirm trans rights, stand with Ukraine, Black Lives Matter. We stand with these causes. Spread in your community love, peace, and happiness. Black Lives Matter, stand with Ukraine. Trans visibility is valid. Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. Choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states in two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Make sure you don't get the store now. How's it going today? Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right. The little voice behind the court. And how's it, how's it going? Doing all right? Yeah. Just for you bucks? I was just kind of looking around and see what y'all got. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So we do the Herbalife product. Are you familiar? Yes. So we do all the Herbalife teas and shakes, and we make everything with the Kangen water. You uh -huh. have that. Kangen water. No, I have not. So this machine over here is called the Kangen water machine. Uh, would you like to drink water? Sure. <laughs> I'll give you a sample real quick. So if you're familiar with Herbalife, that kind of covers half the speech. Okay. Um, which does a really good job on its own. It's really good for losing weight, maintaining, or even helping build healthy muscle mass. So okay. Like drink water, boss? Yeah, sure. Let me get you one real quick. But what the machine does is it actually, so it's electrifying the water. It changes it on a molecular level, so it, it changes the alkalinity, infusing it with antioxidants, and it also makes the molecules smaller. So there's a lot of health benefits to all of those individually. So science has proven that you cannot survive in a high alkaline environment. Really? Disease tissue like it thrives in what's called acidosis or a high acidic environment. Mm -hmm. So the more alkalinity you put in your system, the easier it is for your body to process out all that built up acidic waste. Yeah, there's so much crap in the water nowadays. Not I mean, just the water, the air that you breathe, everything you eat. Oh man, it's, you can't get away from acid. You know, that's the problem. Right. So, and what sucks is at the core, 
all pain is essentially acid buildup, acid of mm -hmm. some kind, inflammation, um, sore muscles, you know, uh, headaches, or is just dehydration. Sure. So when the molecules are smaller, uh, like with these, so if you be, if you imagine the difference between a golf ball and a BB, you have a regular water molecule and a microcluster. Yeah. So with them being a lot smaller, you get rehydrated on a cellular level a lot better. You know, you 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 have better you. Fewer headaches, fewer migraines, you think better. Mm -hmm. That and every eight ounces of water has the same antioxidant level as two and a half pounds of blueberries. So a 16 ounce cup like that is the same as five pounds of blueberries worth of antioxidants. God As you're chugging it down, do you notice you don't have that bloated bowling ball feeling in your stomach? That's because the microclustering won't let you get full. As soon as it touches your tongue, your body starts absorbing it into your system. Because of that, using the two products together, it actually gives six times better emulsification. So when you use it with the product, it's getting into your system six times better. You get six times more out of your energy, six times more out of your uh, out of your shake, out of your protein, mm -hmm. vitamins, minerals, all that kind of good stuff. That is amazing. I'm glad. And that's, that's a, not only is that good, it's a good service for the community. Like you're not selling like crack you're actually helping people out. <laughs> I think I'm a little ways from, from crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit healthier for you. Yeah, I hope so. so. Um, I got involved with Herbalife because of the water. Uh -huh. They work really well individually, but honestly, they, they they bring the best out of both using them together. Oh, hell yeah. So you kind of get the best, you know, the most bang for your buck. Do you all have like an Instagram I can follow you guys on? Uh, Facebook. Facebook? Yeah, Facebook. And uh, I do TikTok. I don't know if you have a TikTok. It's called. That's okay. where I kind of, you know, post a lot of the videos about the products that we use and, you know, just my daily routine of everything. I'm kind of old school. Not, I'm trying to get into into different stuff. You know, the Instagram's kind of, I don't know, for the younger kids. My, my, my daughter says I'm old because I'm always on Facebook. Uh -huh. She's like, oh, and the old people. I'm like, everyone I know, like, maybe that's, <laughs> the, maybe that's the problem. It's everyone I know. Um, yeah, because I only have, Inst I mean, you know, I have a Facebook I don't even use, but I only have Instagram. Right. I haven't know. really quite gotten into that. Um, I do need to, uh, I've got a friend of mine that's supposed to help me. Grow yours? Uh, yeah, I kind of round out my, uh, all the different platforms and everything. And, you know, he's a, a younger guy that understands that kind of stuff a little bit better. I feel like an old dog and new trick, so I'm just trying to catch up. Yeah, the yeah. Way things are done nowadays. I mean, I think if you made videos on for Instagram and stuff like that or whatever, but, I okay. mean. Yeah, um, also, so you're, uh, what's your name? My name's Tom. Of course. Nice to, nice to meet you. I'll give you one of my cards. Uh, that way you got my contact information as well. Here you go, boss man. Not to put you out. I got a card for you too. That way if you guys have any questions or anything about anything going on. So what brings you guys in today? Just popping in to check it out? Yeah, I mean, because, you know, obviously I've, I've been kind of getting back in the gym, but obviously, you know, look at me. I'm not going to kid myself here. <laughs> you're, you're a big old hoss of a guy, dude. I'm yeah. Like, I wouldn't mess with you. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Well, if you, can stay, if you can last for more than a minute, you could definitely mess with me. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, there's some stuff here. I kind of kind of want to talk about, um, you know, and I, obviously I wanted to make sure you were alone for this, kind of your online stuff on Instagram. Um Kind of, because there was an account kind of messaging you earlier, um, talking about this type of stuff here, and uh, that was uh, me on the other end. Okay. So, obviously, if the customer is going to walk in, I'll about all of this. But you know, you have a you're a very smart dude. You have a lot going for you. Well, let's kind of get shit out of the way. I think you know. Obviously, can't force you to talk to us, but I think it's probably best we do because you know, from the pages that are in your following list, I mean, you know. This is, it's, it's, uh, it it's probably should be talked about, you know what I mean? So, is there a way we can maybe go kind of in the back just so people can't hear, or? Um, I guess we can, I suppose. Okay. So, when was all that happening? That was recently? So, I'd kind of gotten, my, my Instagram account had gotten, that's what I was saying, I was getting somebody else that was supposed to help me get all that together because it had kind of gotten hijacked, but. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I'm, I, I hate to, tell you this and, and you know the reason I'm, I'm actually talking to you about it is because I can look at this stuff and I can just be like you know not give not give the courtesy of a conversation but you know knowing that you kind of I don't know if you own it but you kind of run the place here and you're very passionate about it we need more people like this in society so if there's some kind of there's some kind of you know internet slip up then what I don't give a you know it just I give a enough for to get it addressed but I don't give enough I don't give enough of a about it to not just talk about it and figure it out and, you know, obviously the reason why I asked, like, the Facebook and the website is because, um, you want to close the door? Um, are they with you? Yes. 
Okay, sure. And can. that's for safety, so you can be sure we're not here to rob you, take anything from you in return for anything or anything like that. Uh -huh. That's why the camera's there, just, just to make sure, because we're coming onto your property, just to make sure that, oh, well, in return for this, I, you had to give me this, none of that shit's going to happen. No, no, we're not going to put a hand on you, anything, anything like that. So I just want to kind of talk about it, but it's probably best we do close the door. Um, okay. Uh, you just want to um, couch or whatever? Or? Uh, sure. Okay. My name is Gordon, by the way. I'm, I'm really sorry to meet you like this. Um, you do seem like a very interesting guy, and you know. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, we can sit on the couch or whatever, whatever you're, you're cool with. Sure. All right. Uh, can we turn the fan off? <laughs> yeah, we can. Okay. Is that an issue? Uh, no, I just kind of don't want to blow in my ear when we talk. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you ready to sit down? Go ahead. Okay, I'll sit, take a chair here. Um, okay, so obviously, uh, you know. Basically, um, I'm sure we, you know, the door's closed, so we can kind of be more open about this than if it was open, I'm sure. So, basically, you know, you're uh, you're divorced, or you're just, no. just you're single, or you're married, single. single? Okay. So, you have you have two young daughters, and, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, you're in, their, you're in your kid's life and shit like that, and that's why I think it's best we kind of put this crap behind you so there can't be any, like potentially bigger hurdles than this, you know what I mean? Right. Because looking at your Telegram stuff, and you know, like, I always put the possibility that somebody's gonna, ha can hack an Instagram. I mean, it's not the hardest thing to hack, but it usually doesn't happen. The reason why I asked what your Telegram was earlier um, was so I can confirm that it wasn't a hacker, it was you, because the hacker wouldn't have known both your Instagram and your Telegram. And, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I want to talk about. Like, you know, there's obviously, you know, you talk about hackers. It's not hard to be a quote-unquote good hacker and see what some what what path someone's going down, and that's kind of what I want to say. Like, how did this happen, and how do you think we can uh, make sure that you can just focus on this stuff rather than this stuff? Um, I guess I'm going and shut it all down. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I mean, there's a n another reason I want to talk to you is because. Um, you know, there's a lot of worse people on Telegram that I'm sure you've come across. Uh -huh. So uh, I'm more concerned about them. Like, how did you find yourself in these groups, trading with people, all of this type of stuff? Like, uh, how, how did it first start? I mean, it wasn't really any kind of start to it. It just kind of... Spontaneous kind yeah, of? Yeah, okay. spontaneous kind of thing. What do you think the end? But what, what do you think? You, what do you think sucked you in? Because obviously, you're not somebody that wants to be a part of this. I can see it. I mean, I can see it. You don't, you, you don't like this. I don't think. Mm -hmm. what, what was it on the internet that you saw that kind of dragged you in? <laughs> I don't. What do you mean? Like obviously, you know, you go from one day. You know, you said it was spontaneous. You go from one day not being in Telegram groups with stuff you probably don't want to see and. Next day you are, you know. One day you're not following pages such as kids and all this stuff. Then one day you are. So how did that kind of start? I'm, I don't know, just kind of liking the pages, I guess. I mean, I don't know what you mean. Okay. So you just kind of went down a little bit of a rabbit hole kind of? or Sure, yeah. Okay, okay. So you're not going to pull out a gun and me, are you? No. Okay. All right. Like all right. I would ask you about the shirt, but I know I, I weed doesn't actually kill you, unlike cigarettes. Maybe if you're going to smoke me to death, but not not with weed. But um, yeah. So obviously, uh, you know, it's a lot of these pizza pages. I mean, wh wh why do you think they started coming in your following list? I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I mean. I have no idea why anybody follows anybody. Most of the time, I'm just on there liking, you know, liking things. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just follow for follow. Mm -hmm. But I notice they don't follow you. You kind of follow them. And a lot of those pages are private pages, so it's not like you can just like their posts. And a lot of them don't have any posts. Well, no, I'm mean, like I said, I mean, a lot of times it's just if somebody likes what I'm doing, then I just kind of follow what they've following in general, okay. just kind of liking all the pages. Okay. No, it's a, ideally, it's supposed to be a like for a like. Okay. You know what I mean? And did the Instagram algorithm kind of display some things to you that, that I don't know, that kind of maybe put, 
took took you down this path? I mean, I don't know if it had anything to do with, like I said, the just the randomness of the likes or the, uh -huh. you know, the follows. Sure, sure. So, I don't know because it was if it had anything to do with you know nutrition and then health and mm -hmm. then, you know just kind of the the progression from there to you know staying in shape to you know I guess maybe summer body I don't know okay to, you know what I mean just kind of that summer body you know, yeah just kind of that you know progression to you know what I mean like swimsuits to you know what I mean like just that that health kind of thing where it's just like staying in shape and then now you're in you know you're in your swimsuit and then now mm. you're you know what I mean? Okay. So there's actually, a, okay, so there's a reason. This wasn't, you didn't wake up one day and just be like, oh, this is interesting to me. You kind of just, it was a progression of like, for, for, it was a progression of like uh, supplements, then bikini pick. Now it's, oh, it's a bikini pick of someone younger. Then is that kind of what happened? I guess, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That's why I say like Instagram is, <laughs> don't build it up anymore. It's so, it's so toxic. And I'm sure you know Telegram is, I uh, probably needs to be banned from the App Store. Because um, I've noticed Telegram gets good people like you sucked into that, um, you know, you probably don't want to be in. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, so summer, so summer bodies, so did those, those bodies kind of, you know, without you choosing, they just kind of get younger on your feed? I guess, yeah. I mean, is that just the progression of likes for like kind of stuff? Like, oh, here's mm -hmm. a page that's similar because it's staying in shape or whatever? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how did so how did the summer body thing? Um, so can I ask what what are we leading towards? I mean, is there something? Yeah, well, we're with a group called Kid Protectors USA, and we just make sure adults. Uh, we just make sure kids don't talk to adults online, and adults don't talk to kids. Right. In this case, um, you know, with me being the uh, hmm, the fake trader you were talking to earlier, um, you know, obviously that's not you talking to a kid, but it's obviously talking about something that has to do with kids. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of why, and you know, obviously we don't, uh, we don't talk to everybody we come across here, you know, just kind of looking at your stuff. Um, you know, I figure, okay, I'll probably just talk to this guy and just make sure it's good. But there's some people online that I'm sure are in the groups that you've been in that have just, you know, you probably would put them, in, you know, you'd probably do some shit to them too if you had the chance. So that's, that's kind of what I want to talk about too. So how did the summer body thing, um, how young do these pictures of the summer, I don't know it's Instagram, so it's nothing like bad or anything, but how young do those pictures, did it start becoming like, you know, uh, like tweens and stuff like that? I guess, I mean, it just kind of goes to like, you know, gymnastics and, you know, all that kind of different types of things that staying in shape and health and, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Gymnastics, okay. Yeah, gymnastics has definitely been a quote unquote gateway. Unlike we, gymnastics is actually a gateway into some other yeah. Um did those gymnastics pages were they like what what countries did that were they from? I have no idea. I don't Were they all in English or I assume I don't know. I mean it wasn't really that yeah. in depth, I suppose. Yeah, but I mean like did you see any pages like that have been like you know, maybe some Russian gymnastics or I'm sure they're out they're out there, sure. No, I mean, I'm just saying like do they show on your feed like just Russian letters and shit like that? Possibly. I, I mean, I assume it's there. I'm not going to say no for sure. Like, okay. it's just the idea was to try to grow the page, mm -hmm. you know, just to go ahead and, you know, put likes out there. And ideally it was because that's what I do. Like, you know, someone like my page. OK, well, I return a like. Yeah. But I mean, looking at the likes on, on your page, um, you know, you're following 6000 pages. All of these all of these pages, you know, that would be kind of a, would bring up a discussion with some people. Okay. All these people don't follow you back. Well, I, no, I mean, I'm not saying that they do. It's the, uh -huh. That's ideally, you know what I mean? I mean, just to try to build your following. That's what networking, you know, the social networking is for. Mm -hmm. So pages like page, it's page, which is uh, another word for okay. um, I've noticed that none of them like your stuff. Um, they don't follow anybody back. They just have a lot of followers. So how did it go from summer bodies to kind of talking to these Instagram accounts or asking them for stuff? I haven't asked for anyone. I mean, people, if they message me, I've, 
I haven't reached out for anybody for anything. Okay. So have these pages, yeah, that's why I kind of like, you know, one way or the other. So have these types of pages reached out to you for stuff? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So who's reached out to you? You said it's people reaching out to you. Who's done that? No, I'm just saying like if, so, I mean, Instagram has like, you know, people that have tried to message you or, you know what I mean? That I don't know what the filtration mm -hmm. is for it, but. A you guy know, who talks about filtered water doesn't know the filtration somewhere? Not on no, a, I mean, just not Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. On networking, but, right. you know, like there's lists of, I don't know what they call it, but um, people that have tried to message you or send you messages and like, I just delete the whole <laughs> list. I mean, a lot of times it looks like spam, you mm -hmm. know? So, I mean, I just delete the whole thing. Okay. So, I mean, if none of these pages have tried to message you or like them, how, how did you find these pages? Because, you know, I, what I think it is is, you know, when the summer bodies keep going younger and younger, the bikinis. Because, you know, I've, I've heard this before that from people that I've actually talked to, that I've given the chance to talk to, that, like, it started with summer bodies, then curiosity, little... Then maybe someone got a little bit carried away online. Maybe you got a little bit carried away online. Then this type of stuff starts popping up, and it just ke keeps progressing. Is that kind of what happened? I guess, yeah. Okay. So how did you know to find? Uh... I mean, I just go on other people's pages and, like I said, like and follow whatever, you know. So, I mean, if it's just kind of where it panned off to, I mean, like I said, I would just go to other pa other pages and and like what they're liking or like what they're following. Okay. So, I mean, looking at your Telegram activity and stuff like that, I mean, you know, maybe, uh, yeah, I mean, sure, benefit of the doubt, maybe you didn't know what these pizza pages were, but eventually uh, you did know what they were um, based on these messages here between us two when I asked you, did you trade, do you trade pizza? And you said, I have a little pizza. So obviously it, it became a point where you know, you started to know the lingo. You started to know what it was. Um, when did when did it go from you not maybe not knowing what this all this was to knowing what this type of stuff was? I mean, I guess just here recently, I wasn't really aware of what anything. Like how recently you think? I mean, I'm just here recently since everything's been going on. I suppose. I mean, I guess that's what I'm saying. Is just it was just kind of liking pages. Mm -hmm. And the progression of the different, you know, people see me, I see them, and, you know, just conversation. Right. But, like, here recently, as in, like, the past year, the past month, no, or? Like I guess within the past month or so. Okay. Okay. And you started, so you started to know that these pizza pages weren't as uh, innocent as they, uh... Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I guess, sure. Okay. You know, just from, like I said, where they were being attached to from the different locations. Not mm -hmm. locations, but, like, the different likes and stuff. Sure. Sure. So what, when did you download Telegram? I've had Telegram for a little while for other things. Like, what was it for initially? Just communication. Okay. So you had it for... So, so you, when you first got Telegram, it wasn't for this reason? No. Okay. Okay. So you mentioned for other things, as in uh, this, did turn, this did become a thing at one point. Um, when, when did your Telegram sort of turn into this pizza stuff? Or wanted to become a part of your Telegram experience? I mean, just because when you messaged me, when you were talking, well, I mean, I'd had it from before for other things, but that's what I'm saying. When you messaged, that was asking about it. No, I, I understand. But, I mean, look, I know you downloaded Telegram for not this type of stuff. Yeah, I've had Telegram for a while. Right, right. But if you knew what these pizza pages started to mean in the past month, um, obviously they all can't post their pizza stuff on Instagram or send it on Instagram. They have to go to Telegram for it. And, you know, it's not hard to follow you around to groups that have been associated with people who have been sending you stuff on, on Telegram. So that's kind of what I want to be like, okay, let's, like, how did you get sucked into this? Because we, we both know that there's part of some things, there, there's some things that you don't want to be a part of. I mean, you told me earlier at the beginning, like, you can get rid of all of it, shut it all down. If there's nothing to shut down, you wouldn't be saying that. So that, that's why I want to... Well, it's one, I mean, no, I mean, there's, if this is where the connection is coming from, then like I was saying, I mean, it was, then, sure, it'd be easy to just go ahead and, and delete the whole page. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. No, I, no, I understand. But basically, how did it go from one day on Telegram, you're innocently chatting people, then the next day, people are spamming you with stuff that could be uh, not so good to have on your phone. What do you mean spamming me? Sending you images of stuff like that. I mean, I haven't really had anybody reach out to me on Telegram for it. Okay. They just, like, they've asked about, you know, having Telegram and stuff like that. They, so they've asked you on Instagram about having Telegram? Yeah. Okay. And, like, these basically these pizza pages have asked you that stuff? Yeah. I mean, they've asked about it. Okay. Okay. So, do you remember which pizza... So, basically, some, some type of pizza page saying, of course, besides my fake one that I had, but these other pizza pages have reached out to you basically saying, do you have Telegram? Do you want to trade? Like that? And they have before. Okay. How long has that been going on for? Were them reaching out to you about that stuff? Not long. Just recently we've been... Like I said, since everything's been going on. Since the like past, month, past month or so? Yeah. Okay. Did they ever link you their Telegram? Mm -mm. They just asked for yours? They were asking about it, yeah. Okay. And you gave it out to them, why? Because they were just networking. And okay. And they were asking about it, yeah. Okay, so, so basically these, these pages, these patty whatever, they're, they're, you think they're asking? Um, you mind if I? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, do you mind if I see? Sure. So they're asking? They're asking you for your telegram because you think they're trying to network with you? I mean, I assume, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's more there that, that's out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, I mean, that's what telegram is for. Mm -hmm. What's he doing? What's he doing? So we can agree that it was a, a situation that got out of hand. So where are we going? Well, basically, like... So it doesn't happen again because, you know, I'm not going to say like, oh, give me your phone. I'm going to smash it. Because even then, you know, I hope your business is doing good enough where you can afford another one, right? And I wouldn't want you to just give up your phone because of some internet. Um, nor could I just take it from you at all. So, I mean, it, it, it is a situation that got very out of hand. Like, when I asked for your telegram earlier, you gave it out easily. When these pizza pages are asking for your telegram, you give it out. I mean... Even, the, even a five-year-old could understand what's happening if they know the context of these pizza pages. And that's what I think. You put your face on the internet. You put your face out there because you're not a bad person. If you, were, if you were really on the internet for some bad stuff, you wouldn't be putting your face out there. You wouldn't be attaching these pages to your following list. So I think you really got carried away. Which could be, I don't know, you're, how long have you been single for? Uh, I don't know, about a year or so. Okay. And this has started happening recently too. Oh, I mean, that's, there, I don't feel like there's a, a correlation. I just think it was just, like I said, something that got interesting and out of hand. Okay, got it. Got interesting. So I'm not here to judge you for anything like that, man. Um, but interesting in what kind of way? Like it being taboo or like oh, no, curious? Like I said, just the, like I said, the progression and okay, so now here we are and, you know. Like, just to see how far it can go, kind of? No, I'm, like, it, it was, <clears throat> it, before I knew it, this is just kind of where we were, and, you know, that was it. Like, there wasn't, there was no intention behind it. It was just following it, pages, and then. Just kind of happened. Find, yeah, I just kind of saw where they were following others, and that was about it. Mm hmm Because some of the stuff that they were part of kind of goes down to toddlers, even infants in some cases, stuff like that. And, you know, I know you don't want any part of that crap, but some way, one way or another, they pulled you into it. That's kind of, that, that's kind of like, that's kind of what I want to like, let's, like, let's pull you out of this because like, it's not a, you know, because all of these people, they're, they're foreigners. Um, I'm not saying foreigners are bad, but they're from Eastern Europe. They're just, around they, they try to in, they try to get good people who run businesses and who care about the well-being of others into some really man i mean dude like like I, like I said earlier a big reason why like i think just a conversation about this is because you do something so productive because these people that are adding you to these 
groups that, come on, I mean, it's not hard to see your are sending shit stuff on Telegram. They're not productive people. If anything, uh, they're producers, if you catch my drift. They ain't productive. They're you know what I mean? They, they're, all they do is, and even if it was adults they were sending you, they would just, there's what, they're sitting on their ass all day in their basement, just being losers. You know what I mean? You're not a part of that. I mean, you make a living telling other people to better themselves. You know what I mean? And everybody has their vices. I mean, I eat too much chocolate cake, and I genuinely, <laughs> I genuinely would buy some of the stuff here. I mean, I think it would help me a lot. So, that's kind of what it was. I mean, you said it was interesting, or this or that. You know, if we're to open your phone right now, there's a lot of interesting stuff that I'm sure, looking back at it now, you don't want to be on there. Okay, right. So, I'm just going to say, how, how did it, how did this kind of progress into, from the bikini pics to a telegram to now some nudity? How did that start? How did that progress? I mean, just, I guess from as normal things tend to progress from one to another. Mm -hmm. So, what are we trying to get to, boss? Well, you're, you're the boss. You're in control of this, you know. And what I'm trying to get to is... I mean, I, I, I appreciate you trying to, you know, mm -hmm. you know, communicate with me. But, I mean, I don't... What are we... It was just, like I said, stuff that kind of got out of hand. And thankfully, I appreciate you, you reaching out. So... Where are we at? Yeah, but my, my thing is, if I were to just take your phone, I'm not going to, but if I were to take your phone, look through everything on there, I mean, there's probably some that can't even be said, repeated on there. Well, it's not probably, it's obvious. It's, it's, I mean, it's it not only is it logic, but it's also, you know, I have nerds and geeks that can kind of do that, figure it out. So what, what I'm trying to get to is what are these groups that they added you into? How many groups? All that stuff. Because, again, you're putting your face on the internet, which tells me, that's a, a big reason, that's also a big reason why I talk to you. You're putting your face on the internet be, because you don't have any bad intentions. But, hey man, it turns sour. I've been a part of things I don't like in my life. You know, all of them have. You know what I mean? Like, we're not coming at you like we're so much better than you or perfect because there you can call me a fat ass all you want. So, when did you start getting added to these groups? If you, if you want to just cut through the BS, when did you start getting added to these groups? Just within the past month or so. Okay, and how many groups was it? Like, just the ones on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, um, Instagram. Oh, dude. I'm going to let you know I was in the Telegram groups with you, too. What Telegram groups? The, which ones? Uh, the little chats where there's stuff that probably shouldn't be repeated. Okay. I'm not... Look, I'm not asking about Instagram right now, man. It's just... I'm worried about Telegram because that app is terrible for people. You know? Your phone got sucked into it. It's terrible to be on. And that's why I just want to know what kind of ha your story about what happened to it, so we can kind of know, you know. Well, I mean, they reached out. They asked for you know my telegram, and, mm -hmm. and some stuff was sent to me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna let you know. I, I've been around the block, uh, kind of talking about this stuff. So um, you can tell me what stuff. I'm not gonna judge you. So before I ask. Um, did you take any of those pictures yourself that were sent around? No. Okay. So these were pictures you sent to you? Yes. Okay. Well, hey, that's why I talked to you. That's what I suspected. That's why. That gives me a peace of mind. So what was kind of sent to you then? You can just tell me. It's okay. Well, if you've already seen it, I don't need to tell you. Oh, that was a bluff. So you can just tell me what was sent. <laughs> just some pictures that were sent to me that... Uh, was it some stills that were... What was it? Just different things. So, I mean, if we can understand that, then... Okay. So, I'll break the ice on it then. Were these still shots of um, photos that you should probably get rid of? More than likely. Okay. Were these were there videos and pictures, or just videos, or just pictures, or was it a combination, or...? Just... Well, there was gifts, so... Mm. A gift that you probably didn't want to unwrap. No, not gift. Gifts. No, I, I know, I know. Oh. Okay. So gifts, how long were these gifts typically? Uh, just a couple of seconds. Okay. And were they of what a, a lot of people would probably say, um, and again, you didn't film any of this stuff? No. Okay, no. cool. Well, I appreciate that, truly. That's a big diff That's a big separation from the real you know? Uh, they're coming in. I can just shut it down for a little bit, if you don't mind, or you can just tell them.
whatever. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Yeah, but anyway, hey, man. Like I said, customer comes in, I'm zipped, dude, because it's just between us. Um, because, again, this isn't worth jeopardizing for this. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate you too for being honest, bro, truly. And I get it's hard to talk about, but like I said, <laughs> there's a reason I came at what, what is it, like one rather than like when it's busy, you know. Because I could have came when there was customers here and they, hey guys, look, you know. That's that, man. You're a good dude, all right. So um, these gifts, what was happening in the gifts, what, what a lot of people uh, probably call it in those gifts? Probably, sure. Okay, even no, it looked, I mean, I, like, defined as, you know, I mean, it, it didn't look like anything was forced. Okay. You know? Okay. So it was more like, consens was it consensual sex between, like, a kid and an adult? No, it really wasn't an act. It was just more like motion, you know I mean? Like, it wasn't like, or, or anything like that, you know? So it was just, like, moving around, you know what I mean? Like, just motion. Of just basically girls. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, how young did some of these girls go? Like, was it, was it like infants, toddlers? No, no. Was um, it? 15, 16. So, I mean, they were, they looked younger. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean. 15, 16. How, however. Hey, um, Thomas. Look. I'm getting a call, sorry. Okay. Go. How did you know you were getting a call? I heard the vibration. Okay. Look, my, my shirt may have a hamburger on it, but I know a lot about pizza too. I mean, both real life and um, look, you're not associated with this person right here if it's 15 and 16 year olds. Well, I mean, that's, I don't, I can only guess with the, the picture. No, I'm not looking at the picture. I'm talking about this, this user, this guy. Look, I know all these people, not in person. I know this type of they're into. Okay. They're not, maybe, Maybe 15 and 16 is what you, maybe what you were on there for. I don't know. But they weren't just sending you that. I mean, you know, bluff this, bluff that. I can use, you know, I can use common sense and figure that wasn't what was being sent. That's just what you said, so it doesn't, you know, sound... But just because I'm following them doesn't necessarily mean that there was any kind of communication with, with those people. Right, I know. But you got to be... You had to have been sucked down deep down the rabbit hole to even know those pages. So well, I don't know those pages. Like I said, it's just mm -hmm. a follow. You know, it's just whatever pages are on there. It's just following likes for likes. Mm -hmm. So ideally, right, right. So fifteen-year-old and sixteen-year-olds kind of dancing naked. What else was sent that was younger than that? Because you know, I'm not, I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not. You know, it, it's never, it's never that on Telegram. If this was Instagram, maybe, but Telegram. It always goes younger, not because you want it to be that way, but because other people can't stop sending that shit. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what was sent to me. I mean, you can, I, I, I get that, you know, this is what you're doing, you understand what they're doing, but, mm -hmm. you know, that seems, that seems like it would be a, you know, a, a pretty big jump for somebody that they're trying to bring in, you know, from nothing to, you know. Okay, so... I asked you here in one of the messages. Do you have don't do you trade? Don't send any here. Just wondering. And you said, I have a small pizza. So you have a small. Like what was like I was saying? What was sent to me? Those things. Okay. That was, you know, as far as I know, like sizes are your, like that's what you have, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's the kind of, you know, I don't, what is it? Um, storage or supply or whatever right so so how many is in your how many a quarter so so you said you have a small amount so what's a small amount is it like a, a, a thousand or no, okay is no it, like it's no it was just like a couple of whatever that was sent to me okay a couple of pictures and everything just within the past 
A little bit. Okay, and how many, uh, a couple of pictures, so how many do you think it is, a couple dozen maybe? Or? No, probably not even that much, like just four or five, what was sent to me here recently. Four or five pics, and how many GIFs or GIFs? Probably about the same. Okay, so 10 total, you think? Maybe. Okay, maybe or probably? I, I don't know, maybe. Okay. So basically you have a handful of images and a handful of gifts and that type of stuff? Yeah. Okay. So is there like a secret folder you keep it on or is it more just kind of in your gallery? I wasn't keeping them in anything. It was just what was sent to me on the on Telegram. Okay, so it's just on Telegram right yeah. now. Okay. Got it. So, so, you, so you mentioned earlier... Uh, no, I was just saying that there wasn't any acts going on. There wasn't anything specific because you were trying to... Okay. Is there is there a time that somebody sent you something that you want to get rid of ASAP that you didn't want to see? Not that I'm aware of. Not yet, I guess. Okay. So you said this started in the past month. And you had your... When did you make your Telegram name? I come from. Some what name? Do you, do, you, do you drink Bud Light at all? Mm, I'm not. I'm not really much of a beer drinker. Oh, okay. Okay. So this page right here. Here. Okay. I've noticed that's been on your following for more than a month. Been there for quite a while. Okay. Is there animation? Okay. Is this like something that has been shown to you online? I've seen before, yeah. Okay. When did, when, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. When did, when did it kind of start? I don't know. I don't, I don't see where that has anything to do with it. Well, I mean, okay, so has it kind of been going on from couple of years now or even more not what do you mean going on i don't have like it's well i mean is that just kind of an interesting thing to you like? i mean i've been aware of it for a long time i don't see i mean i like it in general i guess sure i mean i don't know what you're trying to i mean i'm just curious like about that because you know is uh, i mean i don't know i mean what's what's the typical thing you watch when you watch i mean is it like the stuff or no, I mean, I guess it just depends on how I'm feeling. Okay. But not, I mean, I'm not really into the animation a whole, whole lot. Okay. Well, I guess a better question is, when was he first exposed to you? I, I really couldn't tell you. Okay, so that's been a, quite a while ago, maybe? Sure. Okay. So, of course, the, the reason I, I'm asking about is because is, uh, you know, younger ladies, or at least rep younger ladies represented as being, you know, cartoons represented as being, you know, younger, way younger ladies. Well, they're cosplayers, grown adults that dress up. Right, but this is, following. right, but this is a, this is a cartoon thing, you, you know, this is what I'm talking about, this is, a, it's a cartoon, it's a cartoon thing where they dress up as, you know, basically younger girls, or younger okay. boys, if that's your thing, but I don't know. And if that's been going on for, Years now, it's more logical that the next step would be real life stuff like this. What do you mean that's been going on for years? Because I'm aware of something doesn't mean that something's been going on. Well, it's not about. I mean, you know, you said you kind of watch it if you're in the mood for it. I mean, how many how many years have how many years have you been kind of been watching this type of stuff, like the lady stuff? Uh, I mean, it's not like not a regular thing, but like when did you first kind of look at it? I don't know. Like I said, I mean, it's. Is, a, is its own things. I mean, I've been aware of it for a while. Okay. Do you watch anime in general? Like uh, occasionally, it just kind of depends on. Okay. On what it is. All right. There's also this other one um, that's also been in your following list for quite a while. Okay. Then. Can, can, so it's like a lot of the anime pages are all representing themselves as, uh, you know, at least dressing up as basically younger. Okay.
so that's kind of that's kind that's kind of my thing. I mean, that stuff. I mean, you mentioned a progression. I think is I think that's kind of what happened here. Okay. Well, I mean, sure. I mean, there might have been a possible progression before, but not like I say. Still, a lot of it was likes. I mean, some of it's on Instagram that I you know. I guess some of it was personal interest, but okay. So then th this page here, this, you've also been following this page for quite a while too. Okay. And I'm sure at this point, well, I, I guess a better question is when did you f first figure out what little things actually meant? Here recently. Like past? A month or so. Okay. Yeah, since, you know. Past month or so. Okay. And I think there was one more page too. Okay. Uh, I think you've been following this page for quite a while as well. Okay. I'm, I'm on several pages too. Right, but I'm saying that obviously we're talking about the teen one. I mean, I know you look at adult stuff too. I mean, you know, that's also another reason why I'm talking to you because it's not only this type of stuff. So, yeah, but a lot of times when these come up, the, lot of the bottom part doesn't. So like you, it's just, it's... Okay. Or whatever the name of the page is. Fair enough. And I'm not saying that's 100% across the board, but like when it comes to like that one in particular, you want to point that out mm -hmm. because, yeah, I'm into girls or little, you know, short people. Okay. And there's also this page right here. You've been all following this one for a couple, for at least a little while too, more than a month. Okay. So what about, what did you think this was? And when did you find out what it actually meant? I don't. So you're trying to find out whether or not I know all the specifics about every single one of the pages that I follow? No, I'm just pointing out pages you followed for more than a month. Okay, but that still is included in the thousands of other pages. I mean, I don't know exactly what any of them are until I interact with them. I mean, and there's no okay. So, so you, with them. Okay, so you found out what met in the past month so that means you have to have interacted with one of them so how did that interaction go did they reach out to you first or did you reach out to them i mean just through context from the pages from some of the stuff that has been posted okay so i noticed a lot of people have zero posts on instagram zero okay so how did so you found out what it meant well it couldn't have been on instagram because they don't post anything on instagram so how did did they let you know what it like how did you find out what is actually meant Just from interacting with everything that's going on. Like what? Like the pages and. Okay, so have those pages actually interacted with you then? No. Okay, so, just... so so you, so you know what's going on by interacting, but then you're claiming these pages never interacted with you. No, from like I said, the likes or stuff that comes up on the pages. That's what I'm saying. Okay. There are others like just because they don't post anything doesn't mean that all that some of the other thousands of pages don't. Okay, so. I mean, ba like, you know, I got it. Realizing now, I mean, yes, we can go back and I can delete all of them and, and okay. I mean, so you've seen a lot of pages that have said, and you kind of knew what the context meant after a while. Eventually, yeah, I guess. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so basically, with they never post, um, you know, a sixteen-year-old um, kind of developed. They always post very, very, very young. And I'm not saying that's your thing or anything like that. I'm just saying there's a difference between like, okay. You know, in a robbery, uh, the big brother does a robbery, and then he brings a little brother along who's a getaway driver, and, you know, he doesn't really understand what it is or want to be with it, but he just does it anyway. You know what I'm kind of, you kind of get what I'm getting at here? Okay. I think you're the little brother who kind of got sucked into something he didn't want to be into. Okay. Like, you're the, you know, they kind of just brought you along for a ride that you didn't want to know what it was or want to be a part of. So, if you're saying you've come across all these pages that post toddlers. Well, they haven't, I mean... They're like in swimsuits or, you know okay. what I mean, like dance outfits or okay. whatever, you know I mean? Like there's, it's still related to the things that, like, I, like I've told you, that are within that. The fitness stuff. Yeah, the fitness and okay. stuff. So it was just kind of, how do I put it? The spectrum of it, you know, mm -hmm. where it's, yeah, this is fitness or it's, you know, gymnastics or, you know, and then they, they come in with, you know, sure. whatever they're trying to post. So what does looking at a toddler on Instagram have to do with fitness? A lot of times they're doing 
fitness thing. It's like, what do you mean? Okay. So you've seen pages of, um, you, so you've seen these Scientology doing fitness things. Like what? Like gymnastics and okay. stuff like that. Okay. So, <clears throat> so if you, uh, if you knew, if so this thing has been going on for this uh, little thing that's turned into a big thing has been going on for a while, um, but you find out, really found out what it was the past month, so you're aware, obviously, that is mean child. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. So now knowing that you've come across a lot of, and again, Instagram's terrible. They suck you into, and you know your your textbook getting sucked into something. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not placing. You know, I'm not saying it's it's your doing because obviously, you know, looking at fitness is not this, but it turned into this sadly. So. Uh, I'm going to ask you about Telegram again, because it wasn't toddlers doing, you know, the splits and being suggestive on Instagram, because, you know, those pages, when they do post, it's like, you know, they're doing poses and, you know. Okay. Well, okay, what do you mean, okay? Yeah, I mean, they're doing poses, okay. and they're doing routines, they're doing different things that can be taken different ways, yeah. So what does a toddler in a bikini have to do with fitness? Whatever they're posting, I don't know. I mean, like I said, when you go from the pages of, you know, doing like fitness or going to the beach or all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. where they're wearing those kinds of stuff, and then later on some of the other pages that are associated with that mm -hmm. are using that, I guess, to their advantage. So why are you liking pictures of toddlers at the beach and stuff like that? I don't know. Okay. So... There's some things I bluffed about with Telegram. There's other things that I didn't. Little things here, little things there. <laughs> I, I, I really think that the Internet's a... Which maybe the water can fix. I don't know. The water tastes really good, by the way. Yeah, of course. So I, I really do think that this can be helped rather than... you know I don't, I don't think trouble's productive here. I think help is... But on Telegram, if you've seen all these things on Instagram, dude, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to talk about. But I have Telegram nerds. All right. Luckily, I didn't see any of it. The Telegram nerds did, unfortunately. What was sent back and forth between you and other people, maybe in groups, maybe not. Who? The Telegram nerds. Yeah, like who was who was there being? Because I'm not in any groups. Okay, so these were all individual people. No, not in any. Like I said, they're the groups that I'm a part of are okay. Like so, okay, networking so, groups. Okay. So like okay, what was? So, so you're not a part of any groups. Is your networking groups? When do these networking groups turn into fucking child? Well, I'm not saying that the the networking groups did. I'm just saying like what was. I'm just trying to find out. Okay. What you're telling so me. So I'm going to drop the hammer now. Okay. Basically. On Telegram, there's exchanges between you and other people where there's pictures, not just like 15, 16 year olds, where there's pictures of the toddlers, eight year olds, even infants in some cases. I don't know. That's up for the nerds to tell me. Okay. So that's, so basically, if you want me to cut through all this, shit, I mean, you can just, I mean, really, like, how did, how did it become that? Because it, it's like a it's like a floodgate, man. And you know, I, I can see. I mean, I can see it in your face, dude. You don't you don't like this. You don't like to be a part of this. All right. And that's why I'm still here talking to you because, you know. Literally, just you following these pages was enough for me to just know. You know. But I really said, okay, this dude is a good guy. He should not. This is somebody that needs to be pulled out rather than trapped in. When did it turn into? Super young infants, toddlers, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds. Just whatever they were had sent me. I mean, there was nothing that was nothing that was instigated. Won't. Okay, so this was more of you, wrong place, wrong time. Like yeah, I mean, it, there was the progression, and then you know, I, they'd asked me for Telegram and stuff, but it wasn't, you know, nothing was ever instigated. Okay, so this was always, 
So this was always kind of you going with the flow in a way? Right. Okay, sure. Well, that gives me a peace of mind. Truly, it does. I'm not saying it's, oh, peaches and cream, and, but, it, you know, you know, but I mean, it's like, you know, levels, right? At least in my opinion. I don't know how you think about that. I think there's definitely levels mm -hmm. to everything. I mean, uh, for example, somebody who steals 50000 from a bank isn't the same that steals a candy bar from the store, you know? And maybe the guy who steals a candy bar from the store wouldn't steal 50000 from the bank. You know what I mean? Just like in your case, you may be a part of this. You may have your toes dipped in the water, but you wouldn't actually take these photos of kids and send them around. Right. So that you, that you see what, my, what I'm kind of getting at here with that? So infants, toddlers, who was sending that to you? Nobody was in, I didn't say that they had sent anything to me like that. It's just that nothing was instigated. What was sent to me was sent to me because they chose to send it to me. Sure, sure. So they chose to send you that stuff. Why do they, why do you think they chose you? I don't know. I guess because we had talked, they reached out. I would, we were friends on Instagram. They had seen where there was mutual, you know, mm -hmm. mutualness, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they did, they, so these people just kind of out of the blue did send you stuff like infants, toddlers. What they sent me was what they sent me, yeah. Well, was that what it, Okay, so without you, basically, and you know, I, I believe it because these spammers, like they truly, um, they don't give <laughs> you know, like they don't care about your well-being. That's why I care about your well-being. Because, yeah, insti was it instigated? Was it not? Were you taking these pictures? Were you not? I care about that. Because, you know, other people would look at that and be like, oh, you're just part of it. Nope, nah, don't give a f you know? I actually do give a f about that. It matters. Um, so, without you instigating it, have they sent you, like, infant toddler that you never asked for? What they sent me is what they sent me. All right. Okay, so uh, it's not a no. It's it's a it's a it's, it's a. I, what they'd sent me was not instigated. Okay, so you know that's why I'm still asking you about this, because if it was instigated, I wouldn't give a f to ask you. I wouldn't give a f about you if it was instigated. I give a f about you because it's not instigated. But you know, in the end, it's a conversation between them and you. That's why I want to know how 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 were they to bring you into it? Were they? Not instigated, were they sending you stuff like infant toddlers? I'm not saying, if you asked for it, we would have be having a different conversation. I don't see to what level, I mean, if it's all under the same canopy, I mean... Under the same eight, under 18 canopy? Right. I mean, you, you know how I said there's levels to this, of taking pics not? Right. I absolutely... I think a 22-year-old to the 16-year-old is less of a to me than a 22-year-old. Right. Okay. So now you know I'm asking you that. I understand. Okay. So. So. Well, how many times was that stuff sent to you uninstigated? Every time. Okay. Um, but if you had to guess a, a ballpark, how many? And the reason why I'm asking infants, toddlers, is because. You know, it, if that's, you know, if we figure that out, then we can just assume that, like, you know, I don't, this is, I don't have to ask, like, oh, well, how many times was a 14 and a half year old sent to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, once, a, you know, once we have the floor, we can just assume the ceiling, right? Okay. So how many, I mean, can you count on your fingers how many times it was sent to you, or is it more than that? None. None? None. None? Okay. I, mean, I guess I would, nothing that was that young. Okay, what was actually the youngest? I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know how, okay. how old they were. Okay. Were, was there like, did they still look like babies or was there kind of a development? No, there wasn't any babies or anything. Okay. So was it kind of just, you think maybe just probably elementary and up? I'm not sure. I really couldn't gauge. Okay. Uh, were there basically picture sent of just kind of like girls that were probably looked way too young like kind of flat chested uh i mean it's again it's hard to gauge with anyone's development okay well if you want to help me actually get the real that are getting you into this now's the time to do it because you know i'm very i'm i'm just kind of, i'm gonna be honest dude 
I, li I like you as a person, truly. But you're very close to me just kind of wrapping you up in the same group that they're in. I mean, you really are. I mean, you can absolutely gauge what they are. It, we're not going to judge you. Dude, if you told me that a piece of stuff is how young you went, I don't give a What I care about is what they're getting people like you into. Because you're not the first person I talked to that didn't want to be a part of this, but that ended up being a part of it. And, hey, they talked and they, like, said, hey, you know, this is what was being sent. I don't like it. In some case, I want to get help for it. Sure. So, look, don't, by you saying I can't gauge, that's, you can, you can, you can, you know, I'm not saying, uh, say, oh, she was seven years and two months and three days. Okay, I'm not asking that. I'm saying a ballpark number because I'm very close to just wrapping you up with all those doing this. And I know you're not that way, but I can look at all this and hear what you said and be like, oh, well, anybody else can think you're that way. I don't have, it doesn't matter what the I think. So, Come on, man. Like, let's just be real here. You're a real ass dude, aren't you? You care about my health without even knowing me. So I care about your well-being without even really knowing you. So come on. What do you think? Preteen, maybe. Preteen. Yeah. Okay. Preteen, as in. Oh no, twelve. Twelve. Yeah, something like that. Twelve years old. Okay. So let's. It's it's pretty much air it out here besides gifts and images how many videos of them with people if you had to guess if it's too much it's too much so do i need to get a lawyer do i need to oh i'm not a cop dude this i understand all that right so i mean well what what's I'm, i mean i'm all for you know i appreciate everything and i'm all for helping what you know what because you have teenage daughters and I have a 10-year-old and 11-year-old, and dude, you wouldn't want anything, do you? You wouldn't want anybody. Right. Okay? I assume your kids don't know about this? No. Okay. So, come on. Because that's, somebody, that's somebody's kid, and luckily you're not the one in them, but other people are. So how about for your kid's sake, because God forbid, you know in Albuquerque has How about for your kid's sake, you can at least be a man enough to point out the other I'll just say it. The getting you into this for your how about for your kids sake how old are your kids 13 14 yeah yeah you know i if i wanted to i'm not i would not, never if i wanted to you know how easy this is just stuff in the van and drive my ass to texas to the mexican border and just be be out of here two seconds man and that's what's happening to those kids in the videos you're being sent so that's why that's why you know what you really want to know why i want to know what's happening in the videos so i can care about those children to know what's happening because you can turn this around from being part of this to you fighting this you know what i'm saying you know how you, what's what, what's your favorite sport football i guess all right um who's your favorite team cowboys all right I'm trying to think of a good cowboys analogy here you know how bill parcells went from Giants of the Cowboys? You know who that is, right? I'm familiar, yeah. Okay, you know how you can go from the bad team to the good team by saying this. You can be like Bill Parcells. You can, leave, you can leave a complete polar opposite side, join the other side. Now, I'm actually a Giants fan. That's why I know who he is. So, you know, we're on different teams in that regard here. But we're on the same team when it comes to your teenage daughter's well-being, my 10 and 11-year-old. That's the same team we're on. And I hope to God we're on that same team because right now I can't really see your uniform because there's sometimes you're talking where I'm starting to see the, your uniform come on. We're on the same uniform. There's other times where you're putting on a Cowboys jersey and I'm in, in a Giants jersey. You know what I'm saying? So, look, if it went down as low as dollars and infants, which it always does on Telegram, I ain't stupid. <laughs> it, always, it always does. You, would, you don't like that that's happening to those kids. You don't like that. But the way you can help me, because you think you're the last person I'm going to talk to about this, eventually I'm going to talk to the people sending it to you. I'm sure I am, you know. Eventually I'm going to talk to the people who are like, yep, I have those kids back there. I take pictures of them and sell it out to people like you. You think I'd be so nice to them? Boy, if they talk to me, how you, some of the times you're talking to me, I'd walk out right now and just be like, oh, okay, <laughs> stupid. But I'm, I'm here giving you a chance. Tell me what was actually happening in those videos. And, dude, for the kids, man. Come on. I mean, again, it didn't look like there was anything that was um, forced. Okay. So there weren't no tears or anything? No. no. Okay. So 
I understand by law minors can't consent, but did the videos of the minors and they don't look consensual as much as they could be? It looks consensual, yes. Okay. What was happening in those videos? Um, intercourse. I mean, as far as like specifically, I don't. Sure. But yeah, I mean, I mean there was intercourse. Okay, between a girl and an adult. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So uh, obviously, um, the, the second you received any of those on Telegram, if you truly weren't instigating any of it, you would just delete the app. I, like I obviously know there's something you instigate. It's okay. You got carried away. I don't. I don't care. I'm not gonna ask you yes or no to that because we're both not knuckleheads here. Um, I'm more concerned about the stuff you didn't instigate. Because I understand whatever we want, a single guy watches whatever, I don't give a f the, the stuff you didn't instigate, how low did that go? Because, I mean, I didn't instigate anything. Okay. Because, I mean, I didn't ask for anything. Sure, sure. Okay. But basically, you know, I'm sure there's stuff, you know, like the videos of a preteen, you know, whatever, intercourse. There's some stuff that you didn't know, don't instantly delete. Then there's some stuff you do instantly delete that's like, holy. I mean, there wasn't anything to that degree. No? No, nothing that I... Okay. Was there, were there any images of toddlers just kind of without clothes on or anything like that? Okay. So when it just came to images just kind of, of like in the nude or just kind of maybe showing a body part, how low did those go on Telegram? Age? About the same. I mean, Preteen? Yeah, yeah. About the same? Do you think it was a little bit younger, like 9 or 10? I mean, again... I don't know. I, mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to say for sure. Okay. Did some of the stuff look like it could be in elementary school? No. Middle school, Not pro. Yeah, middle school. Okay. I guess. Okay. So, this is where my ner tech nerds come in. When did it get to a point where? There's not the messages aren't one way or any, anymore. I'm not saying you're instigating, but saying video comes to you, video goes to them. When did it start to become a? Well, let me just ask: Did you ever send anybody a video of that stuff first? No. Okay. When did it become an exchange, though? Kind of. What do you mean, like? Like when did it start? When did it start? When did you receiving basically stop? I know it didn't stop, but when did it? When did it turn in from you just kind of passively, you know, having it sent to you versus you kind of just sending it out to some other people? Just like with somebody like you? Well, you didn't send me any. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, just somebody's, you know, they were asking about communication and... <clears throat> so that would be they kind of reach out to you. Do you got any? Well, like the, um, from before... Like I said, they, when they would send it to me, then, you know, I mean, I'd have it and then somebody else would. And so then it was just a, <laughs> they would ask me if I had something and it would just be something from what else that I had received. Okay. So you would just kind of, a little bit of hot potato type deal. Yeah, no. Okay. So, um, how many times has somebody asked you for something, then you send them whatever you had? A couple of times, was it? Okay. A couple of times. Like as in 10, zero? Like how many do you think, if you had to guess? Just a couple of times, two, three. Okay, got it. So, uh, I do, I, and I appreciate your honesty. I know this isn't easy to talk about. I, I, I know it's not. It's not, not even for me it's easy to talk about, man. And I'm here, you know. Uh, I'm, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't have... You know, like if somebody asked me what's on my phone, I'd just be like, eh, nothing. But, you know, and even that's like, you know, it's not, so it's not easy to be on my end talking to you about this type of stuff. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a rough conversation no matter what. So what are you guys? What is this? KPUSA. Okay. KPUSA. Kid Protectors from US of A. So, the reason I asked you earlier, pointing out these pages that you follow for more than a month, is because I could have pointed to any 
page that you find you would have followed it for more than a month um, on there because looking at your Instagram the past I don't know I think it was I want to say it was like December 2022 or something like that um, yeah it's been a while you know I really have to analyze like what type of people they are before I go talk you know what I mean and Luckily for you, you seem to be a good one, so that's why I just, uh, you know, that's, that's why I just decided to come here and just talk about this. But, you know, you're following, your people you were following stayed pretty stagnant. I mean, obviously it goes up a few, goes down a few, whatever. But basically, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, when I, when I look for people, I look for, are they following pizza? Little? Uh, CP? Like, I just type in CP on the following list. And uh, what else did I type? Uh, little pizzas. Oh, trade. You checked three out of those four boxes in December of uh, following that type of stuff. And, you know, you seem to be a competent business owner. Um, my dad runs a business, too. Uh, he's a carpenter. He networks. He's in an, actually in a networking group uh, where he kind of meets with people. They talk about what they do. Um, you don't network with pizza pages with 2,000 followers. No post. That's not networking. From the very beginning, that's not networking. Okay? Well, I mean, it's just liking pages. Yeah, but they have no posts. Okay. So you can't just like their page. So. Well, I mean, it's liking pages from other people's followers. You're liking pages. It's impossible to go like a page on Instagram with zero posts. All you can do is follow them, and you follow them for months and months and months and months and months. And the only type of networking they did with you was uh, illegal. So, not all the pages have interacted with me. I understand, but when you say not all, that means some. Well, I'm just saying, Leo. I mean, some of them reached out before. Yeah. Because that's how we got here. So I mean. Okay, so you're a victim of the Instagram to Telegram pipeline. Well, I mean, things just kind of progressed. Mm -hmm. So when these pizza pages would reach out to you, what exactly would they actually say? I mean, they're just asking if I had, like, Telegram or, you know. Okay. Or what's, you know, Telegram, really. And you gave them Telegram, and then... Bada beam, bada boom, there's images you shouldn't be having. Okay. Is that kind of how it went? Oh, yes, sir. okay. So, look, man, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be frank with you, man. Um, what really does it for me, and you know, got so defensive about, dude, I don't give a you watch cartoon but I just know cartoon ends up uh, ends up turning in obviously like you, you know there's those people out there that think weed is a gateway drug which you know I don't think it is I don't smoke or anything but I don't, I don't think it's a gateway drug I'm not with that group I'm all for legalization um, but absolutely a gateway into this stuff I mean you know whether you want to blame it on that you're there now you're here I don't think of it as a gateway I mean it was just things that were there before. Okay. So, how often this stuff on Telegram have you? Why? It's a person, truly. But I, I do kind of. I'm kind of curious. Like, why is this making you so interested to go that far? I mean, it was just curiosity. Okay. So, Thomas, my point is, how did how did you get so deep down into this that you're not only are you curious about uh, your math to it? I didn't say that. You were asking about it. Well, you said you said why. If if it was well, no, I mean, well, so, Thomas, if it was no, you would have said never. Never. I mean, I don't. No, know. that's. That wasn't the that wasn't the point. It was just something that it had progressed to this point. I mean, okay. I appreciate. Like I said, I I do okay. what you're what you're trying to do here, but so, I don't understand some of these questions. So basically, because I want to know, like, what's this? What is this doing to your mind, dude? Because if you're at a point where you're 
to this type of stuff or to it, which clearly, if you're getting videos, videos sent to you, that's not no, it's no accident. You're in the wrong crowd, but and maybe if you're not instigating, it's no accident. I mean, truly, how many times? I don't. I was just a curiosity. Okay, so you just look at it and then you, so you just you just look at it, send it around, and so that in, in a way that's kind of even worse. It was just a curiosity that, like I said, kind of got out of hand because of how it progressed. Right, but I mean, it's it's a curiosity to a point where you just so you're not even when you're you just like to look at statutory because you look at because you like statutory. I mean, because if you're but maybe I'd understand, like, oh, okay, you're just in the mood, you got carried away. But if you're just looking at statutes, just to look at statutes without even to it, that means your brain's... Well, I mean, it's if I were watching to watch, I don't have to match to it. I mean, it was a curiosity thing. Okay. How? What's the longest video that was sent to you with this type of stuff? I have no idea. I don't know. Not long. Like I said, none of them are... Over none of them are over what? I don't, I don't know, maybe a couple of minutes. Okay, in that video, that was a couple of minutes or videos. Can you name one of them? Like what happened in that video, and how old do you think the girl was? I don't know exactly. It wasn't like I wasn't paying attention. I guess. I mean, I was watching it, but it wasn't. Well, what was happening in it? Intercourse. Okay. Anything. Anything uh, notable besides that? Nothing that stands out, I guess. Okay. Oh, Is there any good food places around here? I'm just curious. Uh, a couple. What's your favorite place to eat around here? It just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. Oh. A good buffet down the road, but actually, yeah. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this footage and show a health guy talking about a buffet. That would really take <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, what was it? Is it a Chinese buffet? Hmm. What's it called? Buffet. Oh. They always have generic names, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you look to see if it's open right now? I know it's like Sunday, and so they're like kind of weird with that. So where we're, we're, we're from in Houston, there's some on Sundays, but a lot of stuff. Texas is kind of more religious, so you know people are like that. Um, so how do we fix this? What do you like? How do you how how do you think we can, man? Do you think you need some help? I think. I'm not going to judge you if you do. If that's what I mean. Do you, do you need some help because you don't want to be a part of this anymore? Or do you think you need some help so I can leave you alone? I don't want to be a part of what's going on. It just kind of happened. I see, you know, I mean, there's... A lot of other things to take into consideration, but it was never about any kind of, you know, harm being done. Right. I know you're not a kid. You know. You'd someone if they have your daughters. Right, but there was, you know, again, just the curiosity of it. There's, I mean, depending on how psychological you want to get, mm -hmm. you know, so, but, yeah, I mean, it's just, it was some stuff that kind of got out of hand and just snowballed. Yeah. So, um, what could really help right now is, you know, obviously so far, uh, you've, so far, so far, like, I'm just going to put this in perspective how it snowballed for you. Because the internet can really get you into some bad um, Receiving Possessing Saving it. To not only that, distributing it. All of that. Now you've been a part of that. So the best thing you could do right now, because, dude, the only thing you're not a part of is actually taking those photos. I mean, you see the news stories, right? Distributing Thousands of images. I know you don't have that much. But you see the news stories about this type. Of and you're running with that crowd right now. You don't want to be. So the best you can tell me right now 
is, bro, these pages, specifically, those are some of the worst on Instagram for this type of stuff. The worst. You're with your face. It was not that bad. Okay. They are the worst. You are running with those people. Okay. What are the names of the networking groups you're in on Telegram? Like, they're for businesses that I'm a part of. Mm -hmm. Like what businesses? I'd really rather not. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, cut the... You're, you got the... It's, it's, it's not... That's not the main groups you're in on Telegram. I don't want to... I mean, these are other things that are having to do with other aspects of things. I'm a part of... For Herbalife and the water and insurance and there are other things going on on Telegram. Oh, so messages need to be encrypted talking about Herbalife? Well, Telegram is for networking. Like, you can get on Telegram and have other stuff. Uh, telegrams for two things, Earth Star three. It's for drug deals. It's for porn, and it's for January sixth and Antifa. That's that's that. Those are the only people. So we can understand that. Yes, there was some stuff that happened, but it's really not. I mean, there are other things that are going okay. on. I mean, okay. If that's who takes advantage of it, then okay. But there are other stuff. Well, it's on if. I mean, you've seen they take advantage of it. So, uh, look, the the best thing you can do right now, being that everything pretty much just put you in this this crowd i mean you're, you're you, soul to soul you're not part of the crowd actions by actions you are part of the crowd it's like you know you know those stories of uh, you know some jews in germany having to join the nazis for their own preservation or whatever you get that right i understand okay i'm not saying that you're joining uh, cp for your own preservation <laughs> but you're not really a part of that group that you're a part of. You know, you're not a part of that crowd, even though you're in that crowd. So, it didn't go from toddlers on Instagram to just preteens and up on Telegram. Instagram is never worse than Telegram. Yeah, I know there's no nudity on Instagram. I, I get it. That's. But you're also assuming that there's this huge jump. I mean, there was, it did. It was from, like I was explaining to you, there's, it was a, a it's a, a health page that I was trying to expand with other things. And then, like I said, it just kind of, the spectrum of it going from like swimsuits and, and, and leotards and, and stuff like that. No, I, I, I get it. I'm, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not saying you made that jump. I'm, I'm saying you're now, now you're in those with these people who are, because if you're not instigating anything, they're not sending you only preteens. If you're not instigating anything, that's, that's the, that's the biggest crock of crap. But you're saying that, so that's where they automatically jump. It's just like, okay, if you're doing this, they assume that this is what, that what you want. Well, you don't say no or yes, do you? Well, I mean, I didn't receive anything to that degree. Okay. So, so let's, let's be a little bit more honest. Okay. I'm not saying you see infants every day. Let's be a little bit more honest. It wasn't, I've never talked to anybody who's got sucked in this crap where preteens were the youngest thing they've been sent, ever. Never have I ever, ever, never, ever, ever. That is the biggest crock of Because I'm not saying you wanted it to keep going. I'm saying those people wanted to keep going. Okay. So what did, look, and I'm not saying you shared, even shared any of those images younger. I'm just saying, how many times has it happened where they truly just send you some shit that you can't even comp that you're not even curious about? It's just grotesque to you. They haven't sent me anything to that degree yet. Have they asked you if you wanted it? No, nobody's mentioned it. There was another guy that had mentioned something about, like, what was it? Basically, non consensual. And that's just wasn't, I didn't continue to talk to him. And he was kind of trading with you on Telegram. I mean, he was wanting to. He was wanting to? How did that conversation go from start to finish? I don't remember exactly. I mean, he was just... <clears throat> well, do you have his name? I'm not on... Not handy, I guess. 
Is it, would it just be on some Telegram chat? Probably. Okay, but yeah, how did it go? Go on, yeah. So, he had just mentioned, you know, stuff that was non-consensual, mm -hmm. you know, and that's just not, that wasn't anything that I'd wanted to, to be a part of, so. How did he find you? I assume on Instagram. Oh, okay. And was he kind of just sending you stuff, and then he offered more things, or...? I think so. Um, I think, yeah, and there was a couple of conversations I'd had with some people, but yeah, I think that was one of them where, you know, he had just talked about other things, and I was like, well, no. Or I had stopped talking to him, something to that degree. What was he sending you, like, before that? Stuff that we had discussed already. Like, basically consensual? Yeah or whatever right okay so <laughs> that's my thing I, I, that's probably what I think uh, we need to be getting at here because people on telegram don't ask for consent to <laughs> send non-consensual things well, we were having a conversation about about what about the pictures and stuff like okay. just things that had come up so when he is talking about oh this is what i have uh -huh. i was like i didn't want anything so so he so he was talking about his collection kind of yeah basically okay and was he asking you about yours uh, i think he had i mean okay maybe so it's safe to assume that he sent you some you sent him to him some i don't know that one i don't remember exactly so which ones did you send some stuff to I don't remember exactly. Like I said, I mean, it was just an exchange of what I had received. Okay. How long ago was he hitting you up? It's been within, like I said, the past month or so. Okay. So how many of these chats on Telegram do you think there's just some CP sitting in it right now? I don't know. A couple. A couple? Okay. I see. So how many, if you had to guess how many total images and videos it is? Uh, I, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, not many, I guess, but. Okay. Is the buffet open? Yeah. All right, we'll figure it out soon. Do they, uh, well, I guess you didn't ask that. Do. Would they do Uber Eats if, we, if we're here too long? Okay. Okay. Um, So did any did anybody on Telegram just talk to you about liking Super Young? Super Young? I mean, no. Did did they ever tell you that they liked it themselves? Maybe I don't know. I mean, it, what that was never that was never anything that I was concerned with. So I mean, I guess maybe. If, they did, I probably stopped talking to them. I mean Well, I mean, was there a case where they did bring it up and you stopped talking to them? No. Not that I can recall. Okay. So you you mentioned you and this guy who was into non consensual were talking about the uh, videos uh, sent one way or the other. What was he saying about the videos? He was just talking about how it was more forced, but well, no, no, no. What was he talking about the videos that he sent you? What do you mean? Like, he, you, you said he sent you some videos, and you guys were talking about them. How did that conversation go with him? Like, what was he saying? Oh, he was just saying that he liked preteen girls. Okay. You know, around that age range, that 12, 13, 14 stuff. Okay. And, um... I, and I assume you were telling him you need to find Jesus or something. No, of course you didn't tell him that. Did you get Did you get trapped in the moment there too with him about that stuff? What do you mean? Like, like did you kind of start talking about that with him too? I mean, yeah. I mean, there was a bit of a conversation about them being attractive or something. I don't remember exactly what was being said, but okay. I'm sure. So when did this attraction to preteen start for you then? Just it wasn't. It's not an attraction towards them specifically. They're just attractive people. I mean, if someone's a... 
right, I, yes, I understand that. If someone turns 17, you're not going to be like, oh, that's your ugly. Uh, but like, when did you start finding preteens attractive is what I'm asking. I guess within the time frame that everything's been going on, it's just been nothing specific. It wasn't like, okay, today's the day. Okay. So it just kind of happened? I mean, I... No, yes. I mean, I guess I don't know what you're... It's not exactly an attraction towards preteens. It was just that's the conversation that we were having and the direction that we had gotten to. He had sent me some videos, some <laughs> situations that he was in that seemed consensual. And then he talked about others that weren't, that were just more forced. And so I wasn't... Situations he was in. So this was him himself in the videos. I mean, that's what he had told me. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hello, how can I help you? Hello? How's it going, sir? We're just we're just kind of having a, a, a talk here. Uh, you you are going to delete the child phone, right? Or are you going to get rid of it? Okay. And it's just it's not safe. It's just in the Telegram chats. You're just going to delete all that shit, right? Okay. It's your last time having child. You're not going to do this again, are you? So basically, um, he admitted to us on camera and to you right here that he has on his phone and we have a group that goes around the country catching all my child and in this case we well we pose minors online and they message us in this case there was no minor we were posing as but i saw on his instagram he was following all these related pages so what i did i made a fake account similar to that of course there was no exchange between us but i was like hey uh are you into this stuff and he basically said yes and I have those messages here. It was like a very short conversation. And that's what led us to come here and talk to him about it. And he admitted to us that he's not only received but has sent it around to people. And uh, he said he's done it on Telegram. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, but obviously with him, we didn't do any of that. But, um, sure. yeah. Where is your phone at now? It's back here. All right. Um, just being that I, I can't trust that it's just going to be deleted. Child considered contraband, much like drugs, heroin, anything like that. So just being that there's a statement that this is on your phone, I'm going to have to seize your phone at this point, um, pending the search warrant. Okay. Just so you understand, I can't, I can't just assume that it's going to be deleted and it's still out there. All right. Um, uh, do you have your ID with you, Thomas? Right. Actually, don't worry about it. Let me let me just get your info. He's such a liar about how young it went, but whatever, we got him to admit to sending it, so that's all good. I'll be born in the Rumble stream. I'll be born in the Rumble stream. That what I am going to do? Um, what? Actually, I guess that's what happened when you have good signal. Um, Look. doing in front of the cop. Mm -hmm. That dude's a, yeah, pothead? Oh, he knows. But he, he already said, I'll delete it. Like, it's too late. Oh, he's getting Mirandized. Mm -hmm. 
you should be. Being that you don't want to speak to them, I'm guessing that you, um, that you don't consent to search your phone. Are you providing a consent to search your phone at this point? No? Okay. All right. Yeah. So, what's going to happen is, um, so okay. we're going to be, in, your phone's going to be in our possession. Um, and, uh, What's your current address right now? saw his email in the car. What was it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I noticed that too. So he didn't, he didn't share anything or try to share anything or anything like that? Uh, no. I mean, okay. I just told him I, I'll hit you up on Telegram later. Never gotcha. Again. Okay. All right. So yeah, but being that he has it, we're gonna, we'll do a search warrant on the call. Absolutely. Like, basically what I suspected is he's following pages like an Instagram right there. Mm -hmm. um, he's following... Um, basically, the key thing is... Like this was me, like saying, "Hey, bro, do you trade this?" He's like, "I have a small, like small collection. You trade on Telegram. Don't send me." I said, "Don't send me here, but let me come up on that Telegram." Mm -hmm. Then he gives his Telegram account uh, here. He, this is Telegram. Okay. I never hit him up on there, but like you know, uh, just confirm that he has all that trade on there, stuff like that. And um, he's following these pages here. This is my fake trader account here. And all of these pages are like, we basically, how we catch these people, we follow people that follow this page. Gotcha. And yeah, they're all into it. How long had you been in communication with him? <laughs> like literally this morning. Since this morning? Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. It was lasted like probably like a, over the course of like 30 minutes. And then I called the shop. It's like myself. I'm like, hey, what's up? And then he said he was here. So I was like, all right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. Choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment.